following podcast contains adult language, profound stupidity, hardcore nudity, and drug references. Children should not listen to it. Everyone else, fuck, fuck, knuckle, fuck. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome to Plotty Time, the podcast where we three gamers discuss video game stories in detail with all the necessary and appropriate backlash. My name is Papa Scotch and with me as always is Mr. Chompslap. What it is. And the scientist. How's it going? Good, good. Glad <laughs> to hear from you guys. Uh, today we are discussing Unchinbara. Onechinbara. Oh, I, I still, I asked you right before how to pronounce <laughs> it and I still screwed it up. Bikini Uchinbara, Samurai. Yeah. Bikini Samurai Squad. This was your pick, Mr. Trump Slap, so why don't you go ahead and give us a little rundown of this this plot, <laughs> at, to could. the best of your ability. Okay, this is bikini-clad zombie slayers. I would call them Samurais. Sam- oh. <laughs> it's right there in the title, <laughs> you think I'd know that. Bikini Samurais, who have mm-hmm. a special blood that makes them powerful if they get covered in blood and they're killing zombies yeah i think that's pretty much sums it up all right episode's over let's go to the (laughs) all right good one guys (laughs) there there's a lot to talk about with this game that it's not the plot (laughs) yeah no it's not (laughs) it was first released december 14th in 2006 by a company called d3 and then it made its way to us here on February tenth, two thousand nine. Now that February. usually is a pretty, pretty big red flag, right? Like f- almost. I can't do math. Just over two years after it came out in the we- in the east, <laughs> it comes to the west. Well, I didn't think it was a red flag because I do own this game and I have played it. Did you beat it? No. I no. I just put it down after I came. <laughs> <laughs> And then Fallout came out. <laughs> yeah. And then, well, before we really get into it here, let's talk a little bit about what you guys are playing this week. Nice. Uh, scientists, what have you been doing? I have played absolutely nothing, waiting for Kingdom Hearts to come out on Tuesday. It should be at my door. There's yeah. new, no new update since you beat two games in the same week. No. No, same thing. I didn't even turn my PlayStation on this week, I don't think. Well, what about you, Chump Slap? What have you been doing? What do you think I've been doing? <laughs> Fallout 76. Well, I Fallout played, 76. Yeah, I was playing that, and then we almost killed the Scor- Scorch Beast Queen, guys. <laughs> we almost had her, and I got disconnected Oh, after oh, wasting that's all my worst. ammo, and I haven't touched it since. Ask Chumpslav how many times he, how many hours he spent on Fortnite last year. <laughs> I, ooh, yeah, what's, what's the count? You got to let us know. 344. Holy shit, in one year? <laughs> in one year. It wasn't even a year. That's I like two whole like weeks. Maybe six No, months. I remember you guys, like, earlier this year were, every time I looked on at my friends, it was just Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I have an addictive <laughs> personality, and I just get addicted to something and then quit it hard. Cold turkey. <laughs> well, how, how many hours would you say you put into uh, File 76 so far? Well, according to the email from PlayStation, <laughs> well, this is just last year's time, not the, not counting the time this year. Yeah, not this month. Uh, two hundred twenty-four. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I think it was released in October. I wish you could see your face. <laughs> wow, that's that a boy. <laughs> Ten entire days. Ten entire. Yeah. Oh, you you just conceptualized it. Oh boy. I just need. Yeah, I just realized with that email that I need a productive hobby, or like just spread your gaming out a or little. Or get another job. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> imagine if you got paid like three bucks an hour for those two hundred forty exactly. hours. Scientists, what's that number? I I couldn't count. I didn't hear your numbers, but I was just trying to figure out how many forty hour weeks he spent playing these games. <laughs> It's like 14. Oh, I thought about it, especially when I saw it was 964 total hours <laughs> on PlayStation last year. What does that work out to like per day? I'd say like two and a half. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 
That's not that I, I like that shotgun estimate. Did you figure that out or did you just guess? I was looking at it earlier today. <laughs> he, he was contemplating it all the last two days. I only played 211 days out last year. I played 180. I don't remember playing that much. Wow. And I'm still waiting for my email for them to explain to me my statistics. <laughs> I want to see how how much of a freak you are. <laughs> yeah, fair, exactly. Pop Scotch. <laughs> well, hopefully next week we can uh, bring all that information forward and shame me appropriately. Before, before before you get it, how much time do you think you spent on the most, like on one game? What's the most you spent on one game last year? NHL? It's probably NHL, but I think that's skewed because I played 18 and 19. Oh. Like, you know, two different versions. We got to um, add those up when we get to it. <laughs> but even then, oh, no, I played a lot of games in that. It's got, I, ooh. I would be, I'm going to guess with your guys' time estimates, I'm going to say I put in 200 hours in Shell last year. That's my guess. In what? In NHL? In Just oh, Shell. Oh, NHL. Okay, yeah. Only two? <laughs> Did you even play it? <laughs> well, well see, the thing the is... Beginning. I'm trying to take this all into account because it comes out in September, so I play a shitload of it like before Christmas, and then it tapers off Fallout as you get into the new year. After September, <laughs> just saying. The most time I had in any game was like 62 hours on Dragon Quest XI. Do you remember like back in the day when Final Fantasy VII came out, and everyone's like, "Oh, dude, I spent 80 hours in." It. Everyone's like, "Whoa!" <laughs> yeah. It was like, "Holy crap, that was so worth it." That used to be a lot. I don't think of. Spent more than like sixty on a game since the original Demon Souls. Well, just Demon Souls. Well, after those two, I spent eighty hours on God of War. <laughs> that was the last one. How that did was you the spend third. Eighty on God of War. Wow. It was fun. No, that. Yeah, it's fun and and it's very like. Well, I played it too, but I didn't get close to eighty. I don't know if I'm eighty, but I'm definitely up there. I'm over sixty for sure. Oh, it goes quickly, especially when you're like. Pausing and smoking cigarettes. I gotta take that into account. Let me get the cigarettes out of there. Yeah, it's probably like five hundred hours total. Yeah, the cigarettes. Exactly. Yeah, there's definitely significant pause and walk away time for sure. I guess, I guess we'll do it. Do you get? You guys want to get into this game or what? Let's do it. Let's let's start. I guess we'll just start with the story. Chump slap. What's the first thing you see happening? I believe the first thing you see is a zoom in on an apartment and there's a schoolgirl <laughs> sitting on a couch watching TV and another female in the bathroom taking a shower. Right. And they see the news report, right? Yep. Well, the schoolgirl does. The other one's taking a shower. Yeah. I believe it's Saki. Was the schoolgirl, right? Yeah, I think so. And yeah, Saki's the schoolgirl, and Aya? Aya or Aya. I don't, I don't know which. Isn't that the same name from Parasite Eve? Aya. Man, we just did this one. Yeah, we're all looking I at each other like. Uh... <laughs> I was gonna say, I, th- I thought it was the same name as the the cave girl from Chrono Trigger, but it might be. It might be. A I very... think her name's Alia, but I could be wrong with that too. Yeah, it was a- Ada. Ada. Aya. Ada. No, I think it was Aya. Was it? I don't know. Go back and listen to that episode and tell us. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got to figure this out now because it's going to bother me. Well, he's looking that up. Uh, we got Aya. We got Saki, the younger sister. Yes. And the third playable character, Anna. Anna. Yeah, which, with three ends. With three ends because apparently from what I saw, that was like a typo when they were doing the translation. Oh, really? <laughs> I think that's what it says, yeah. Wasn't a style choice, okay. Yeah, it was not, a, it was not, there, there's no spelling of Anna or Anna with three N's in it. <laughs> Her name was Aya, A-Y-A. Yeah. Aya Brea. so. Interesting. And instead of being a rookie police officer in Parasite Eve, we have a sword and knife-throwing assassin cowboy bikini girl. Yes. Yeah, she's, a, yeah, she's an assassin who... Wears a bikini and a cowboy hat. Yeah. Because those were her ancestors' bikinis and cowboy hats. <laughs> I assume well, that makes were... more sense. Like, if you're an assassin, wouldn't you think you want to be a little bit inconspicuous? Well, I mean, you're assassinating zombies. I don't know, but you, there's a, I'm sure there's a market for a sexy assassin. <laughs> no, I, you're, you're probably right. 
I don't know. I don't know how they do things in Japan. It's like, I want that guy dead, but sexily. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think there's like scantily clad women in cowboy hats with everywhere. samurai swords everywhere. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff we got to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> the game is very, I'll use the word fetishistic. Just a little. For sure. Exploitative. Just a little, which, <laughs> you know, we'll we'll work our way up to that because I well, have first, first thing a is, lot of questions. They went so many questions to the extreme to show as much as they could without showing a single nipple or anything. <laughs> like in the first scene, yeah, she does run out of the shower naked to see right. the, the yeah TV, which I guess I'll buy because this is a pretty big emergency oh, and yeah, it's something like, they've dealt with in the previous games. So. There's a sense of urgency, you know. I'll I'll buy that. She runs out. Yeah. But my favorite part was the plant. Like when she's watching the TV, <laughs> there's a plant just fern. strategically covering and then just everything. Throw the tower over her shoulder so you can see everything. It's like just yo, put your put your titties away. <laughs> there's zombies on TV. <laughs> yeah, and did her sister bring her that pair of underwear? Maybe it was just there because she just started she putting keeps it on them all around the house. I was gonna say the underwear tree. She <laughs> grabbed them off of there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it the underwear fern that was blocking yeah. her way? Yeah, he used to have That's probably what it is. Fern. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> it died. <laughs> what happened to it? <laughs> I, I never From got too much underwear or not enough? <laughs> the autopsy didn't show anything. It's, it's a fucking plant. It can't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> the autopsy didn't show anything. There's, there's parts of this game that are told, like in the cutscenes. Yeah. yeah. Terribly slow text. Very too. slow. I mean, I thought I was a slow reader, but <laughs> this is slow. Yeah, I was not a huge fan of that kind of exposition, especially since, like, the actual look of the text crawls, the it spacing was really of- weird, and the font was not great. <laughs> like, I thought it was boneful blood for a long time, and then I'm like, wait, is that an A? After, like, the 11th crawl, I, I was like, I wait, just, I think they're talking about like baneful a, blood. The ramblings of a serial killer talking about what he wanted to do to women and just writing it all fucked up. That's what I got out of it. Yeah, it was very strange. Yeah. I didn't like the way it was written. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like when she was like, I was tied up and I couldn't get out. And all the zombies broke in. Yeah. It's like, this is some strange fetish guy writing fan fiction, snuff films. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is an interesting thing because yeah. this is all Aya's narration. Like this is her voice and her talking. They could have made it like a th- another third person narrator, but they didn't. No, she had to say it like that. Yeah, and it was very strange. And when they're from the crawl, we learn when they're covered in the blood, they get more powers. Right? Did I did I read that correctly? Yeah, correct. Yes, yes. I think they do that in the game, like when they do that explosion of red. You yeah, know? you get like a meter, and it fills up with blood, and then you can do your special move. I think. If I remember correctly, this was so long ago. Which no, I think you're correct. Um, that's which is awesome. I love the idea. I li- I like the campiness of the story. Um, I'm a fan of anything that's like uh, throwback '70s Terrible. grindhouse type stuff. Yeah. It was also interesting in the one crawl they talk about how if they mess around with it too much, then the blood can consume the mind of their master, and I'm quoting now, eventually devouring their very life force. So you think that 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 would eventually kill them if they use it too much. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. It's like if you use too many special moves, you'll die, right? Like That's what it seems See, like. that's what I gather too, but why was that never, ever addressed ever again for the rest of the game? Because they didn't use too much. I guess so. <laughs> they used just the right amount of... And they had some taken blood. from them, so I made up for it. Now, is that, I guess, the explanation of why you can't just constantly use this power move? That's what I'm thinking, yes. I mean, you you played the game. I watched the speed run, and it was two hours of garbage. It was like, it was like ten years ago. <laughs> well, man, it's your pick. After nine eleven, so, like, it was it was slightly after nine eleven. Yeah, eight years. <laughs> slightly <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. Well, it was released in the East only five years after nine eleven. I know, and it was because of nine eleven that we got this game. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. read that somewhere. No. and don't forget when that old lady turns into the semi naked hot chick and. Yeah, that's pretty much at the end. But what about the... Where do these cop... Like, these clone-looking guys come from? <laughs> from what I read, they are 
Um, the the main evil woman, what's her name? Hitomi? Do I have Hitomi? Uh, Himiko. Sorry, Himiko is the big bad boss, and they are they are referenced as her aides. So they're henchmen. They're like the super powerful henchmen of Himiko. Not that aren't I guess zombies because the zombies and henchmen are like on the same side. Yeah, I was I wrong in thinking that if you got too much blood, you turned into a zombie. Maybe that's what it meant. Like you become dead and you become undead because yeah. there's zombies at the time. I mean, they're full of it because it gets all over you. But so maybe they're just like you, but not taken over by the blood. Just yet. like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sexy bikini clad samurai women. Yeah. Finally, this is yeah, okay. this was a game made for you. I mean, <laughs> that's why I got it. That's how I see myself. <laughs> I I have a note here. The third text crawl. Uh, they they explain Aya like is she comes to and she's bound by rope. She can't break out of it. Zombies are about to show up. The last minute she breaks free and kills a zombie, and then she basically bolts from that location. And I'm just thinking to myself like that sounds awesome. Why don't we see any of that? Why is that all in text? <laughs> <laughs> there was no budget for cutscenes. Yeah, like in the beginning they tell you this whole story about the. I guess this is like the third installment. I don't understand, but in the beginning, it's like, oh, all this awesome shit happened, <laughs> and we're just chilling in an apartment right now. Yeah, that it that was an interesting stylistic choice, because there are cutscenes, and the cutscenes where they do fight are pretty badass, but there's so few of them. Like, if you put them together, it's like seven minutes was, or something like that. Yeah, I think it was just techni- technically the best they could do at the time. I don't, I don't know. It was only... I would think budget-wise, that would be the problem. Yeah. Which, uh, and if that's the case, whatever, that's fine, but why mm-hmm. don't they have, like, scenes where the characters are standing there talking to one another? Why do we have to go to text scrolls? You know what I mean? Like, we could have... <laughs> yeah, you think the people this game was aimed at would want to see <laughs> full video of these cutscenes. And her explaining things, like just driving on a motorcycle, thinking to herself. Yeah, you'd rather see over. that than read i mean i didn't i didn't buy the guy game to read <laughs> exactly <laughs> tell you and that let's talk about that motorcycle for a second <laughs> which is it's a level like for our listeners that aren't going to bother playing this fucking game and i don't blame you um there's a level where i is riding a motorcycle and fighting what i'm assuming are zombie miniature horses i thought they were dogs but I mean, well, that's the same thing. Probably. <laughs> okay. I mean, a zombie horse and a zombie dog are basically the, the same tail thing, is right? what threw me off because they have like an exposed spine on their back, but they have like a horse tail. It's I mean, the yeah, hair. Yeah, that that was very confusing. And there was a crawl. Like before, I saw the speed run and actually watched the gameplay where it made sense of all this. There was a crawl that s- it didn't make sense of it. No, no, no. But <laughs> there was a crawl that said. Aya sees an explosion in the distance. She gets on a motorcycle, and the next level, like immediately after, she's riding the motorcycle and killing the dogs. And then right after that, we have a cutscene where she destroys one of the aides after showing up on a motorcycle. And it's like, yeah, did we okay. did we need yeah. any of that? Like, did we need the crawl <laughs> explaining? Oh, and she got on a motorcycle and left. Well, yeah. How would you know? Yeah, that? How, how else would 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 it make sense if they didn't say anything and all of a sudden she's on a motorcycle fighting dogs? <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't. I don't know how it would have made mm, less sense. Yeah, think about it. <laughs> There's a lot of questions, too, about just the enemies in general. Like, we have the zombies. The Mostly it's zombies. But you also have, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I've, I love when they don't give me names of enemies or they're not in, like, a wiki because then I just make up my own names. Uh, I have a big lava man monster. And there, yeah, that was the that boss. was the boss. But he, the, there's like also like an ogre, Andre the Giant looking zombies that show up pretty often. Yeah, yeah, uh, zombies with guns, <laughs> which is yeah. And then, with, with perfectly descriptive of what they are. Can you explain to me what there were like zombie chimps or zombie apes, right? Like I didn't make this up. I saw this. <laughs> I don't remember seeing that. I don't, no, seriously, I don't. I didn't get that part. I mean, there were zombies that like danced around and did stuff, but I wouldn't call them chimps. No, well, now you guys are just teaming up and trying to gaslight me here. 
There were definitely like <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously, I didn't see it. I, I mean, I, I zoned in and out watching the speed. I bet run, there so. were. I mean, and there were like women who exploded where some of the zombies like red blood right, everywhere. and there were ones that were just on fire. Yeah, yeah, because that's what happens to but zombies. I honestly, don't remember. I don't know if chimps. they were chimps. That's what I wanted to bring up here because they were like, they looked and moved around like a monkey, not an orangutan, not like a silverback girl. It was smaller. Like a circus performer, acrobat, like rolling around and shit. The uh, the what's his name? The guy from The Simpsons. Apu. No, Sideshow Jesus. Bob. No, that, Mal. no, it's Bumblebee Man. <laughs> it's the Professor monkey Frank. that hangs out in Krusty Circle. Oh, the monkey. He has roller skates. Sideshow Bob. We said that. <laughs> no, the little monkey that smokes cigarettes and shit. <laughs> I don't know his name. I can't think. Of Homer his name. walks in. And uh, they're they're bathing Krusty, him, Jay Leno, and the monkey. <laughs> and he's like, "Sorry, I didn't realize you, Jay Leno, and a monkey were bathing a clown." <laughs> oh, genius! But yeah, the point is, they looked like that, and they moved around and like were ankle biters, I guess, because they weren't babies, like they weren't children. I don't know. I I honestly don't remember. I don't know anything what, about what you're talking about. I don't know what kind of crazy monkey type people live in Japan. But, well, there's monkeys there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, people type monkeys is what I meant to say. <laughs> that sounds racist. It, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they were zombie things, all right? We, I'm going to get a screen cap of one of these things, and I, we're going to put it on the Instagram. So you yeah. people can decide. <laughs> what the hell this thing you is people what do you mean by that <laughs> the listeners that aren't me and you guys and possibly our mothers i doubt my mom would know how to use any of this yeah, my ha! Mother. Joke's on you. <laughs> so a- after like the motorcycle and the zombie horses and the apes they there's another crawl i think i'm just referring to the sixth crawl there's like 14 of them but uh yeah the, the, i think there's 19 chapters Oh, yeah, something like that. They're they're talking about how they need to get to the island because the evil people always live on a island base. Yeah, they beat that information out of some of the aids. Right, right. But they they the th- the line that I'm getting worked up about is that they can only get there by massive carrier. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad translation. Yeah, I would assume. Are we sure? Because that's, that's like a boat. I, I assume they meant aircraft carrier, and there are levels where you're fighting on an aircraft carrier, right? Yeah. So what's a boat, right? It, do they mean you can well, get there by boat? <laughs> if you can get there by plane, you can get... No, you have to get there by aircraft carrier. There's no possible other way. It's the only one high enough. What does height Possibly. have to do with, with getting there? <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I was curious about. It's like it's a boat. Like anything that presumably could go on water would be able to get there. Plus, aircraft carriers are fucking huge. Like, you can't park that right next to the island. You've got underground... No, run aground. <laughs> uh, what are they called? Sandbars. Shores. And coral. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They have to be talking about a boat, right? But they, they are on an aircraft carrier in the middle levels. Like, fighting things, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I mean, the speedrun was so boring to watch, I don't really remember much of... <laughs> it's very monotonous. Yeah. I mean, it's a hack and slash. That's part of the game, just yeah. Yeah. taking out as many enemies as possible. Which also confused me as to why there were those spikes that came out of the ground for no reason, and then just immediately disappeared. <laughs> What's the game's explanation for that? I don't think it had one. Nah, it, yeah, that's just to keep you in the area to fight zombies. Have you ever seen the zombie apocalypse unfold? Can't say I have. There's spikes everywhere, dude. That's the part no one talks you about? Can't, yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't take down the spikes until you kill a certain number of zombies. It's common knowledge. They're pretty obvious. I mean, I'm not a scientist, but... Well, you are. <laughs> That's your name, right? <laughs> we go to you about the science stuff, so... He's a frog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's living a lie. I don't have to worry about the science stuff in this game, but... Oh, yeah, this science is solid. <laughs> Can you use your science to explain to me the killer whale fight? Like, at all? In any terms. Yeah. Good question. Uh, you fight the killer whale. It's kind of dumb. Zombie like killer it, whale. It's definitely some kind of mutated 
agitated yeah. killer whale. I don't, I don't know if it's zombie. Maybe maybe it's baneful blood infused. Oh, okay, could be. But I mean, it was it looked just as boring as every other boss fight in the game. It just looks so lame. Like you're on one single platform, and then the whale just like jumps on it and like slams its head around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you described is, it better than I could. Yeah. What else is a whale gonna do? I, I I just feel like you could have put that boss on land and made it not a whale. Why did it have to be a whale? <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a sea creature while you're going to the island on your massive carrier. All right, squid then. Yeah, a, or an albatross. Something that can like yeah, a squid can be in water and like slap you around with tentacles. That makes a lot of sense. A whale doesn't have arms. It can't reach out and grab you. There's better sea creatures to terrorize us, is what I'm saying. <laughs> There's definitely better. It could even have been dolphins. Jelly, jellyfish, even. Jellyfish? I would have taken dolphins. You could have had like 40 dolphins. Yeah. yeah. Flying out of the water and smacking you with their tails. Perfect. I'd buy that more than a killer whale that just jumped on the platform, wriggled around a bit, and then went back in the water. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's, that, that's the whale boss fight. That's classic whale boss fight. How many other games out there have whale boss fights? There's got to be at least a dozen. Kingdom Hearts. Is it really? Yeah. You fight Monstro. I still Echo can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know, right? <laughs> Echo the Dolphin. Well, the Kingdom might... Hearts fans out there know. Especially by Echo the Dolphin 3. There's like, were there three of them or were there just two? There are definitely two. There's definitely at least two. Yeah, I just echo the dolphin and then something tied or something, right? I didn't know if that was the name of the first one, but I, uh, maybe. I, who I don't knows? Know. At least two. Let's say three. There's three. Let's be safe about it. Well, eventually <laughs> you're going to run out of creatures to kill, so it makes sense they put a killer whale in that game, but not in a hack and slash with zombies. I feel like you might have fought one in Earthworm Jim. I don't remember. I thought there was like a whale type thing in one of the Demon Souls games too, but maybe I'm thinking of the Cloud Guy. He's kind of whaleish. I don't know, man. I didn't do any research on whale <laughs> bosses. Well, now we know for next time. Yeah, <laughs> that's your assignment. Look up whale bosses. Will do. And then after this stupid whale monster thing, they again we have another text crawl where awesome shit happens. And I guess they're going through the mines, and they fall. It says here that they get separated, and Saki and Anna fall. <laughs> they fall down like 20 meters, it said. That's pretty far. That's 65.6 goddamn feet for our American head. That's like, what, <laughs> that, five stories? That's, that's, that's the length of a bowling alley. <laughs> that, <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> well, the length of a bowling alley is... Well, what's the length of a pitcher's mound of the home plate? It's the same length as a bowling alley. 60 feet, 6 inches? That's what I thought, yeah. Yeah. So it's a little bit longer than that, that they fell. Oh, wow. Could you imagine falling down a bowling alley? <laughs> <laughs> or from the pitcher's mound to home plate? That'd be... Oh, man. That would hurt. Well, they are bikini samurai ninjas. Yeah, they know how they to are. fall. <laughs> it's the first thing they teach. Is it like a certain way, like a parachute drop where you have to like land on your feet to take the impact and roll over? Or are they just super badass? They fall in like the superhero landing. It's a side effect of baneful blood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like they're super human. They can just fall from 60 feet anytime they want. Yeah, because they definitely like get punched and kicked through walls. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't Saki jump off a building and yeah, smash and destroy the destroy the road? Yeah. Yep. All right. I mean, I can't do that, and I've tried. <laughs> I have. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, fine. They fall 60 so feet then, and get... But they fall 60 feet, and they can't jump back up there? Well, I mean, you're fighting gravity one way. Now you've got to bring science into this. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it's true, but yeah. I, but, I mean, they're trying to get into the facility, so why would they want to get out? Just It's got to lead to the facility. It's an underground tunnel underneath the thing. Logic dictates... Well, that's true, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Video game logic dictates. It's going to lead to where you're going. If you keep seeing enemies. Yeah. And they do. They kill a lot of zombies yeah, in the caves, too. Yeah, there's plenty of zombies on the way. That's true. So, And then there is also, I have it written here, you eat hearts for energy. Is that correct? I don't remember seeing that at all. <laughs> Was that the power-up they do, maybe? I think so. Well, 
No, because you can go into like your menu and you can find stuff to consume or whatever, and one of them is like a heart. Maybe it fills your special blood energy. I think yeah, it gets you. You you played the game chump. What does it do? Well, in the intro, they tell you about how uh, Aya's mother gets killed and her heart was eaten. Oh yeah, that's right. And then they become the painful blood. Like you get that power if you eat the heart. So I, I guess it just makes it better. So it's like a Highlander situation. Yeah, they don't want other people to get the painful blood, so they just eat the heart to get it out of the way. <laughs> but they there's also parts where they like where the aides, the guys steal blood from Saki and Aya. Like, yeah. they take blood out, and then that's what, what's her name, drinks. Why can't I remember? Yeah, the boss. Himiko. Oh, Himiko. Yeah. And that's where there's that extreme, like, <sighs> <laughs> you guys know exactly what I'm getting to, but there's so many awesome, badass things that you could have chosen to do a cutscene of instead of a text <laughs> crawl. And then they spend, like, four minutes just eye-fucking Himiko as she turns into this... <laughs> <laughs> young lady like someone please help me help yeah, me understand it's, they, they spend an, an exorbitant amount of time on her thong yeah showing that just showing her ass wiggle when oh look at that she's got an ass now <laughs> that was like 15 minutes of the speed run <laughs> yeah that just seems it's an interesting artistic choice <laughs> i think that's all they had they had these 3d models and they're like uh here do something with it <laughs> but it's it's like your whole development team has to be on this page right they're like well we're gonna spend yeah. a lot of time making these women look hot and make sure all the right parts jiggle what about the story yeah we got well it's like 27 cool. cutscenes. we can only make eight of them not text crawls <laughs> <laughs> and two of them are definitely nudity filled yes we know the audience we're going for with this game exactly do you think the nudity was a tactical choice to prevent them from getting caught up by zombies grabbing them? Oh. I'm going to s- say no. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. That's... Well, I, I, I was leaning that way at first, but then I was like, well, then they should cut their hair too. Like, it's her grandmother's bikini. And that's why she wears it. I'm uh, telling you. Yeah, I mean, the bikini, you could make an argument that that would make sense because you'd feel if someone got a finger or a hand on one, it'd just rip off. Well, yeah, but if you were wearing like baggy clothes, they could grab it and pull you I down. I know why. But... It's so they can get the blood on their skin. Oh. That makes much more sense. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> yeah. They need the blood on their skin to become powerful. That's how it works, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, uh, that, then that would make sense why she's wearing a bikini. I get that. But then the schoolgirl outfit. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't make any sense. I think she just got out of school. I mean, she could have changed. There's plenty of time during this game to. I don't know. There's plenty of outfits in the game, I believe, that you can just unlock and just dress up mode and shit like that. <laughs> no, there is, yeah. <laughs> it turns into Barbie Palace yeah, time. It gets pretty ridiculous. The the person we're not talking about, th- those two, Aya and Saki are sisters, correct? Yeah. Okay, so then you have those two, and then you have Anna, who. Oh, her. Anna. Anna, who is. Anna. I just wrote down as latex cop? Question mark. <laughs> yeah, she looks like a stripper cop. Yeah, she's got a interesting choice of a skirt that zips up to just below. <laughs> I just, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't get... Isn't she like special forces too? Yeah, she's with the ZPF, I believe is written down. It's or ZFP. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. The police force. Which they never explain what that stands for. Zombie police force, maybe? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, when I first heard it, I was like, is that the same thing from Fringe? So I had to stop and look at Fringe's wiki to make sure it wasn't. It was ZFT in Fringe, but this is ZPF. ZPF. This is definitely Zombie Police Force. But were those the same letters that were on the Japanese release? Like, do they just have ZPF and shit like that? I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, the game takes place in Tokyo, so it wouldn't make sense that they have English abbreviations, right? Yeah. It'd be like characters. I'd assume, but I don't know. Never been. Yeah, maybe she's not a, uh, special forces from Japan. Regardless, they're all in fetish. Outfits. <laughs> don't roll your eyes at me. <laughs> well, they're. This is what I don't understand. They're all in fetish outfits. Yeah, like yeah. Th- this is very sexual, and 
the whole thing is very sexual, and even when they get like punched or kicked, there's definitely a moaning to it, which yeah. is oh. clearly sexual. <laughs> like like a women's tennis match. Yeah, exactly. Can you guys explain this to me? I just I don't <laughs> understand. I I don't understand what you don't understand. <laughs> well, why would? It doesn't make sense to me that you'd put out a game where you couldn't show nudity, you didn't show any nudity, you got basically as close as you could without showing any nudity, um, you have scenes of them getting beaten where that are clearly sexualized, and yeah. what, like we live in a war world where porn exists. <laughs> yeah, but you can't have porn Xbox 360 game. Well, that's, that's what I guess my question, like who is this for? It's purely for jacking off scotch. <laughs> well, sure, but <laughs> I'm not saying it's a good game. That's a and pretty I would never play specific it, but... fetish. Like, I need to be able to jack off to an Xbox 360 game with bikini women killing zombies. All right, why was Lollipop Chainsaw? It's the same thing. That's a great game. Yeah, it's the same thing. I identify it's the same thing, but I just still don't understand. Did you play either of these? No, no, I did not. I played Lollipop Chainsaw, but that was fun. Yeah, this I didn't do it to look at the cheerleader. I thought this one would be all right, just running around killing zombies, but it it got boring as fuck. (laughs) Well, it's all you're doing is running around killing zombies. I know, but you know, like Left for Dead, that's yeah, I guess that gets boring as fuck too. I still don't get it, but there's there's a part where they're (laughs) getting closer to uh, Himiko and her base and like the final boss fight and everything, and it says. In the text that they're getting more "quote unquote" excited as they get closer. Well, I just assume that the baneful blood made them horny. Yeah, the baneful blood. I mean, I kind of got, just... I kind of got that, yeah, jive from the whole thing. Yes, it just like tingles when they when you get close, you know, like I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, <laughs> but you, it makes sense. I get that. Like, it doesn't make sense. Oh, but I get it in the game. Uh. I didn't write the game. Yeah, I wish I did. I mean, well, that's what we do here. We try to work together to figure out uh, what, what was. I just assumed we'd never figure this one out. Yeah, I was worried. <laughs> when scientists showed up today, I was like, uh, help me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Well, I mean, there's, there's, they definitely make an attempt to have a story. Yeah. And it's basically that there are zombies everywhere. They are, they have the baneful blood and they have the basically killing power to take out everybody. Mm-hmm. So that may, fine, I'll buy that. But where does Himiko come in? Is she trying to find the blood or is she trying to get like the power for herself? I think she's I trying she to get it herself. The, yeah, cuz she just drinks it and becomes powerful, like becomes one of them. You know, evil person take over the world kind of thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's these these people. They're more powerful than me. I want that. What power. do you mean these people? Jesus. <laughs> like the, the Kenny Samurai Squad, because uh, there, there's definitely she has a plan and she wants the blood and she wants to, I guess, regress in age. But did she? What's the connection between her and the zombies? Is is she just taking advantage of an opportune moment, or did they? She actually like unleash them. I, that I never really understood. I don't think she unleashed them because. Like, this is the third installment in a story already where zombies happened twice before this because that's, like, the first line. It's, like, the third time this happened. Right. Always happens in threes. So I don't think she's the one who's doing it unless it's, like, something that people can do and she's the third person to unleash the zombie horde. Yeah, I I didn't understand anything of where the zombies came from from all the text dumps and... So. They were just zombies, and which, in the beginning too, they're like uh, the news report says that a bunch of crazy people are rioting downtown. Seemingly, this is the <laughs> third time this has happened now, right? Like, yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I've been led to believe. So governments would prepare a little better, don't you think? Or they'd at least say on the news, like, "Oh, we got another zombie fight again. Everybody, fucking buckle up." Yeah, they acted like they didn't know what was going on. But if this was the third time it's happened, you think they'd have some information. Do right? you think this had anything to do with Parasite Eve's story? Because the first thing happened in Japan. Oh, so interesting. Maybe, oh, damn. Connected worlds? And you Question do mark? have like uh, zombies that are just on fire for no reason. Yeah. And dog zombies. Yeah. And zombie apes. Yeah. 
Oh, so you say. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's also, They're but like there. they, those, the zombie chimps, they also have like spider variants that have like arms coming out of them. Well, yeah, I, I say I remember the spider ones. Well, this was the base. They were actual spiders. Oh, but they were like the size of <laughs> like golden retrievers. Weren't those the dog zombies? No, not the dog zombies. The <laughs> they're the dog zombies slash miniature horse zombies which is what I'm mm-hmm. calling them. And then there are the the chimps that are z- zombie apes, and then you have spider chimps. These are three I'm going to have to go back and watch the speed run afterwards. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to look at this. Not saying you're lying to me, but I think you're lying to me. There's also zombies that are, they're not burnt, but they look like xenomorphs, like aliens from Alien. Yeah. Uh, I, maybe they were just I like burned know. zombies or deformed. Yeah, I, I can see where you're coming with. They're more powerful I wouldn't zombies. have called them xenomorphs, but. I don't know, man. They look like xenomorphs, but with a slightly shorter head. Well, it was their mitochondria taking over. Oh, might have been. <laughs> mitochondria been. <laughs> oh, I wanted to ask about uh, Anna and why she was holding the one aide. Like, it was her husband or something. Oh. When he died. Okay, yeah. I can explain that. Because that was her brother. Yeah. Was her brother. Oh. I think it said it, it a blonde guy. I just the only note I have is blonde guy equals Anna's brother. Yeah, but she does does Anna have the baneful blood? I don't know. I was gonna ask I that thought too. So. I assume so, because you can you can we didn't even get into it earlier, but you can play as all three of those characters for our listeners out there. And if you're single like you can do co op, but if it's single player you get to switch in between them, right? Yeah, it's like tech and tag ish, right? You can just tag in. Did they ever explain whether Anna had the baneful blood? I guess she did because she was able to fight with everybody. Does she have a super in the I don't remember ever seeing that. She has guns. Oh, I would assume she did. Well Yeah. yeah. I assumed she was a uh, like if you had the baneful blood you weren't a zombie and everyone else was a zombie. Is that the way it went? Because there weren't other regular people in the world, except for the AIDS and the and Hamiko. Yeah, you don't really run into anybody else ever. You run but you do run into Eva. But she was the latex lady that didn't she at one point in like her boss fight, like she split into like seven different people? Is that the correct person? <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I think so, but <laughs> I can't be hundred percent sure. Yeah. Or was that Raiko? There was also Raiko. Rico? Raiko? R E I K O? Rico. Rico sounds tougher. It was the lady, but uh, the girls And she had pain. Yes. Blood. I was thinking. She did that. And yeah. they allied with her to defeat Ava. Yeah. yeah. And then Raiko ate the blood, ate the heart, and got the blood for herself. So now the end of the game, where we're standing, is Aya and Saki are alive. Anna, I be- I didn't think she died. I think she's still alive. Yeah. Ava's dead. Alive. Doesn't she hand her the? Yeah, she she's the Saki? one that gives the orders. Yeah. The next assignment. Anna does. Yeah. Yeah. She At the end, Aya. it's like they're just fucking battling it out to see who gets the next assignment. Right? Yeah. Raiko, I believe it's set up so that she's the bad guy in the last one. Or the next game, I should say. Yeah. Oh, was there another one after this one? Yeah. Z2, I think. And there's several sure. movies, too. Like, live-action oh, movies out there. They're terrible. <laughs> Have you seen them? Oh, we watched, like, 15 minutes of one before. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's just, like, auto-played after the <laughs> story run. That's pretty awesome. Satan at the Crick had better production. <laughs> sure I actually, did. I tried to find them and I couldn't find them anywhere. Oh, I'll send you a link. They're just like on YouTube, one of those? Yeah. There's... Yeah, it just went right, it, as soon as it was over, it went to that. Yeah. Awesome. No, no, no not at all. It's garbage. <laughs> now, at the end of the game, they're fighting for the next assignment. I was very confused by this because the cutscene was just them fighting and I had basically going like, ha ha, and leaving. Yeah, she wins, she gets the assignment, goes, and that's the end. Yeah, which doesn't make sense. Did they know they are getting another assignment? Because Anna just walks in. And she's yeah, like, I think so. Here's your next target. Or was she standing there the whole time? And they're like, ooh, I want it, I want it, I want it. And then they fought. I, that's the way I assumed it was. Yeah. But why would they fight for it? Like, they've clearly yeah, been I don't a know team. They, yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, that part didn't... I don't know, maybe it was like a sex assignment. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> Who knows, man? Do you think this game was any good ideas? No, no, none at all. <laughs> well, I, 
I mean, you can make a good hack and slash game. This just wasn't one of them. But it is pornography, right? Uh, no. Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'd say uh, I don't know what it is, but I know it when I see it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was gonna say. If you if you if you use it to jack off, it's porn. <laughs> so like the cheese in my refrigerator is porn. <laughs> okay, like you use it to jack. You know, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, I don't even <laughs> want to get into that. That's that's interesting and weird. Note to self: buy cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna shame you for this. Obviously, that's that's. It's your business. No, we're not about that. We're not about shaming people. No, absolutely not. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's it's porn. It's Xbox porn. So you're saying like Dead Alive, volleyball and shit, that's porn too? Well, it's certainly not a game. But it is. Well. <laughs> By all definitions, it's a game. By all like definitions, it's porn. definitions. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get into one of those eventually. Because from what I understand about porn? the Dead Alive series, it's just, no, not <laughs> The Dead Alive series is just volleyball, like women in bikinis and volleyball. That's exactly what it is. We just had that episode right now. You, yeah, uh, it's pretty much the same. There's thing zero plot. You just get you unlock outfits. Probably yeah, it's like a fighting game, but you're playing volleyball. How are you playing? Like, is it a volleyball game or is it all fighting? I think we're getting off the rails here. Save. <laughs> no, hold on. I want to know this too. I think it's there is. Aren't there two types of games? Isn't one like volleyball and one fighting? I don't think they're in the same game at the same time. But yeah. I could be wrong. I've never played any of them. Like the original Dead Alive was a fighting game. Yeah. yeah. And then they took the hot chicks they made and turned them into volleyball players. It's very yeah. confusing. From what I understand. Yeah. 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 I mean, that sounds exactly like what it is. Well, maybe they had like a unlockable mode that was a volleyball mode, kind of like Tekken Bowling. Maybe. And then it just was a lot more popular. <laughs> I mean, we could look it up, but what's the fun in that? No. No. We don't do I that. don't want to do that. Yeah. No. This, if you're looking for facts about real video games and real video game historian stuff, this is not the place for you. You came to the wrong place, John. I would not call Dead or Alive uh, a real video game, but... Not, no, not the point. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's the game, I guess. Does anyone yeah, else... I'm not going to play it. I'm not even going to... I hope yeah. I forget about it again. Well, after talking about it... I don't think I want to play it again. <laughs> he was gonna. I was he batting was gonna. around. I hooked up the PlayStation or yeah, the Xbox. Oh, like you, you still have this game in your possession? Yeah, I own like four Xbox games, <laughs> and this is one of them. this is one of them. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. it sure is. <laughs> what I like to do every once in a while is pull out the stupid quotes from the game. Do you guys have any good ones? Because I got a couple here I want to go over. <sighs> I, I really like it was blocking it out as I was watching it. That's but probably for the know. best. Yeah. Some of these are from text crawls, but I, th I oh. yeah, I think the majority are from text crawls. I got one. Uh, go for it. Uh, uh, what, uh, it said that like <laughs> eight times in the cutscenes. <laughs> was it like uh, a sexual moan that accompanied that? Like, Ew. I hope that that was a terrible uh, sexual yeah. moan if that was what it was. <laughs> No, it was my voice. It was going, uh, what, uh. No ladies what after hearing that. <laughs> so your sexual moan. <laughs> of course. This is all my sexual voice. The there's the good ones I have, uh, I point my sword at the funeral man. The blade <laughs> reeking of blood. I just, I'm, I'm going to attribute all these before you even say them to bad translations. No, oh, there's some, yeah. Obviously, but because <laughs> in the text crawl, she refers to the aides, the guys with the suits and the the glasses, as funeral men. They're like wearing what would be used to go to, like what would be yeah. to a funeral. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Like, like morticians. Like, oh, you look like you're going to a funeral. Right, exactly. Okay. Then <laughs> other good quotes are zombies, zombies, in they come. <laughs> <laughs> that was from the text crawl. Yeah, that was a text crawl. I have to destroy the enemies before me. Destroy this organization, which yep. I guess is towards the end when she's trying to get into the caves and such. Well, that's what this story is all about. Yeah. Exactly that line right there. And if we don't locate and wipe her out of existence as quickly as possible, the tragedy of the baneful blood will be repeated again and again for the fourth time. Is their existence what brings on the zombie apocalypse every time? Well, I guess it's not the apocalypse, but... 
maybe that's what it is. Like, there can only be two baneful blood holders at one time, and when someone else gets it, zombies happen? That could be it. That's what tips them off, and that's why they have to go out and find out who it well, is. Well, now you got to play the games and tell us. Play one and two. I, mean, <laughs> I don't think one thing. and two were available in America. We have to get some ROMs or something. We got We have to know the whole story now. All right. Well, I'll do my due diligence. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, other, the last quote I have is when they're in the blood cave, she says... I bet staff get lost in here all the time, not to mention all those dumb zombies. <laughs> I, I did like that one. <laughs> I really like that one. Like she's thinking those about the zombies. nine to fivers at the at the uh, evil lair. <laughs> <laughs> I bet your workers get lost here all the time. Th- those fucking zombies. <laughs> <laughs> and if they lost, do they just turn into zombies or get eaten by the zombies? We'll never know. I don't know how this works because if blood on blood contact is how you become a zombie i guess painful blood stops it but but then you use that zombie blood to get more powerful yeah yeah it's weird i don't get it it's kind of like duke from haven (laughs) yeah that's a fucking reference i don't understand (laughs) yeah but you don't get scotch will get it (laughs) i do get it but they don't they like absorb their powers in haven don't they or something like that yeah when they kill some highlander so what are zombie powers sort of well, I meant with like he absorbs the blood and he gets the power. That's kind of what happens with them. They get the blood. They kill him. They get the blood power. Yeah, but I want to know why normal people are turning into zombies. I don't. They never explain that. There's no. That's why you got to play the first two and let us know. I think there was a book at first, or you could read the book. I think I might. I think <laughs> I might learn the, Japanese just to read this. Book. Get the audio book. Ah, oh, touche. Now we're thinking. <laughs> Audible.com. What if Dad reads it? Dad won't read it. <laughs> what if they turn into a movie? Dad won't see it. What if they spoof it on SNL? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that takes us through the game, I guess, at this point. Uh, so, scientist, are you playing this game? Absolutely not. Never. I guess we should rephrase this. Like, not are you going to play it after this, but would you have ever or would have considered playing this game? I did not, and I would not ever. Okay, that's pretty definitive. <laughs> what about you, Chump Slap? Are you going to fire this up again? I don't know. I think I got my $10 worth the first time I played it through and got sick of it, but... Man, your time's pretty cheap. There's, like, challenge rooms and stuff in it where you can just... Uh, weird combos that you have to pull off. We didn't even get into this. How it's, like, rhythm rhythmically Like done. a Batman Arkham Trials? Yeah, yeah, it's weird. I didn't understand any of it, but maybe I'll try it again. And <laughs> there you go. You've learned a lot. I am like ten years. years, ten years older. So, is it more like one of those things where it's like Parappa the Rapper, where you got to hit buttons in sequence? Yeah, it's like instead of just like tapping, like tap 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 tap, you have to tap it like tap to tap 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 to tap tap tap. Like you did to pull off the combos? Yeah, it's weird. It's like timing. Yeah, the speed run they don't do combos. They do like one yeah. of them and then over and over and over again. I didn't understand it at first, but now that I read up on it, I might try it out. Yeah, the speed run is just looks like they're straight up button mashing. Uh, I don't think it's optimized at all. I mean, the whole Oni Chibara no. speed running community hasn't gotten together <laughs> yeah. and optimized know. all these paths. I always wanted a game to speed run. <laughs> <laughs> Start there. I'm pretty sure you could beat it. Well, you got to think about with speedrunners, if you're just starting out as a speedrunner, you're not going to go for like Mario or Zelda or one of the big ones that everybody does. You're going to go for maybe some on the fringes, something on the outside, exactly. get your name out there, you know? Get yourself a record. Exactly. Get a couple, like, yo, I hold the world record in nine games. It's like, whoa, really? <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Well, they're all on Bar games, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's probably impossible to beat. The Japanese people who had this game two years before us. Well, I mean, all you got to do is look at the, what the speed run is and see. And just try to copy them and do something slightly better. But, I mean, he gets, like, hit. And he has terrible attacks. He misses sometimes. Uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, you could, there's a lot of optimization still there to go. I'll check it out. I mean, I... <laughs> go, I got... to the, go to the wikis and go to the discords and find out all their strategies and take some practice. I got some homework to do, guys. <laughs> I'll get back yeah. to you on that. Yeah, absolutely. You'll be the. You'll just be in the Discord and the chat, just talking by yourself. Like, is anybody still playing this? I'm trying to speed run. <laughs> <laughs> no one answers you. Did you see a new world record for uh, Super Mario Brothers three? Any percent warpless? Pretty nice. 
No, I didn't. It was this week. Mitch Flower Power did it. It's not something I look into. Oh, well, I do. It was, it was interesting. I like to enjoy video games when I play them. I, I didn't play it. I just watched it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to enjoy things I watch. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand the speedrunning concept. I don't know. I love watching speedruns. I don't know why. It's, it's I like seeing them games get like broken or done perfectly. Is it pornography to you? I don't jack off, no, but Oh, that's the difference. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Difference. I got it. I got it now. Maybe so, that'll just become a regular segment. Like, is this game pornography? <laughs> <laughs> I think there'd be more yeses than no's. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, I jack off to all my games I play. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I keep playing Fall seventy six. <laughs> As this episode was going on, we took a little break, at which point I checked my email and found that I did finally, just now, get my email from PlayStation regarding oh, my year-long stats. Snap. All right. Let's compare. All right. Hold on. Scotch. Let's put a dollar on it. <laughs> How many we... more hours does he have than me? Total? What'd you have? I Nine. had 964. It's Price is Right rules. Closest yeah. without going over. I'll pick 999. I'm going to say... 11.52. Okay, now, I, I believe that these numbers are going to be a bit inflated because there's definitely ta- like pause time and walk away. But oh, yeah. Going yeah, by that's what, I said too. <laughs> what they have in the thing, I've played 31 games in 2018, which is I up from last year, apparently. Wow, that's like four times what I played. <laughs> the, uh, the top games, number one is NHL 19. And what, what's the guess on this one? I guessed personally 200. Uh, I'll say 250. I'll say 184. 325 hours. That's like me on Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump on Fortnite. My my top game was Dragon Quest 11, 72 hours. <laughs> even wow. I, I barely scratched the surface. Yeah, you don't even play games. I didn't platinum it. Well, no wonder you had so many more games than us. When that's your yeah, biggest I, one? I, I play like a lot of... Indie games, too, that are only like 10 hours long. Yeah, I spent 40 hours on those games. <laughs> <laughs> what was your top genre? Sports. Well, my number two hour game is Red Dead Redemption 2, which I did. I thought I'd be at like 80, 90, maybe. It was at I'd 100. Say you had two. Oh. 145. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then after that, Far Cry 5 with 114 hours. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nice. My, my number two was Nino Cooney 2, 68. And Noir Blackheart, 67. Not even close to your guys' times. No, I, t- I stick to whatever I do. Uh, top genre was sports. I yeah, had my- four games, 412 hours. I had action adventure, 205 hours. 280 trophies. 200. Yeah, I only had 83. All right, so here's the big one. Hours of gameplay. 2018, I clocked 730. Uh, what were the guesses? 999 for me and 11-something? Yeah. I said 1164 or 1152. You're very close. It was 1194. <laughs> oh, Price is Right rules. I win. 1194. Yeah, 36 hours online and only seven hours in VR. I thought it'd be longer than that, but only seven. 1194 is 50 days. Wow. That's too much. I just yeah, learned, yeah. learned a yeah. lot about myself just now. 1194. Let's divide it by 365 and see your hours per it's Three and a half hours a day. It's not bad. All right. Jeez. When you go all the way to the bottom, it says, Letus Noob, Fierce Marksman. Oh. Maybe they gave you a... That was the name they gave me. Mine was Master Adventurer, so maybe like what type what of games you play. Yeah. What does yours say, Scotch? Uh, I'm still looking. Uh, <laughs> Longest they, consecutive gaming streak. Mine was four hours. <laughs> Mine was ten. Ten? Yeah. Oh, I don't feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was twelve. Four hundred and sixty-four <laughs> trophies, seven platinums. Wow. See, I don't know if this is That's right it. because I, I, I believe I don't. It says a thousand eighty-two trophies, which I believe I could have done that, but it says twenty-one platinums. I don't believe I did that last year. I think I only have twenty-five total. You people are disgusting. <laughs> Dude, this is. There was a time when me and scientists were going head to head on trophies, and those days we would have put this to shame. I think. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh yeah, you guys are. 
There was like insane. two platinums a month for a while in there. What? How many trophies you guys got? 1,082. Uh, I only had a 4,064 trophies. Oh, total, you mean? No, he earned this year. last year. Last year was 464, and my ranking is Masterful Phenom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. That one's so much better than my 130 trophies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Not a single trophy in Fortnite. Not a single trophy. <laughs> not a single one? No. you can't. You, there's no trophies for multiplayer online. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. I was going to say, how do you specifically play a game for that long and get nut? Like, statistically, you have to get a couple. Well, all games like that are, are like that. Like, you could play yeah, but Call most of Duty forever. At least, and, no, Call of Duty. Well, you eventually get, like... I'd get trophies for online play, but, like, there's none for Fortnite. Oh, there's zero trophies? I thought there had to be There's trophies some. for the story oh, mode. Oh, okay. But there's a story it. mode? <laughs> Apparently, you have to pay for it, but you have to pit. Okay, yeah, that's why well, I never played it. Shows you how much I play Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, well then, that takes us this week to one of our favorite segments: scientists' lock of the week. Scientists, who do you got? Uh, Rapid and Revolution take the over. I don't know who's going to win, but they're definitely going to score more goals in there. Wait, what, what? What sport is this? Soccer. Are you talking about MLS or is this some European? Yeah, league? yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, they'll score. They'll cover. The, they'll cover the over. Okay, okay. So what are we thinking? Like nine combined goals? Twelve? <sighs> yeah, I'm leaning towards eight, nine. Yeah. Okay. The over is like four. You heard it though. That's a yeah. It's a lock. That's a sure thing. That's a sure thing. One hundred percent guaranteed gambling lock from your favorite podcast. Uh, with that, we're gonna go. <laughs> And we're it's gonna not s- even my favorite podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine either. <laughs> uh, so, fine. We're just going to move to the final installment, which is Chump Slap's recommendations. This week, we're going to ask Chump Slap for his fast food sandwich recommendation of the week. So Chump Slap, what's number one? Uh, I'm going to have to go with my favorite, the steak, egg, and cheese bagel. From McDonald's. Yes, you heard me. It's disgusting. I know. It's a heart attack on a bagel, which is also a heart attack. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, a lot of carbs, but also a lot of good protein in there. You know, you need that to start your day. Or do you just get them at like four in the afternoon like a weirdo? No, I mean, I haven't had one in a while, but it is my favorite sandwich from a fast food place. Except for a maybe maybe a classic chicken sandwich from burger king but no 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 filet of fish and cheese no i'm sorry Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> i don't like the filet of fish very much no nah, me neither i mean if i wanted to eat one of those i could make one at work because i'm a piece of shit cook but <laughs> <laughs> all those words were true <laughs> like your cooking is shit or you are oh, a piece no, of my... shit who happens to also cook yeah the second one my gotcha. cooking is amazing, but, <laughs> but he's still a piece of shit. I'm, yeah. that's, <laughs> well, that's obvious. Self reflection is extremely important, so we're gonna leave everybody with that little nugget of wisdom. Uh, that's uh, Scotch's words of wisdom for the week. Yeah, my words of wisdom for the week. Important. Everyone's a little bit of a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, scientists, why don't you tell everybody where they can find us? Oh man, I have no idea. <laughs> Seriously, Trump's you, you want to give it a shot? Even made made some up. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can find us at at Plotty Time on Twitter, and I assume the same on Instagram. That is and, correct. Oh, that's where you were going with and this. Double 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 Plotty Time dot com. Yep, and you can find you can email Coming us soon. Plotty Time at gmail dot com. So correct. that's it for the week. Uh, for Scientists and chump slap. You guys want to say goodbye? Peace. It's been real, guys. Yep. Later. Bye.